So let's talk a little bit about drilling um, threads, reaming, and uh, all these things that make up a mold. So if we look at this, we've got um, we've got this mold, and we have to drill it out on the back side. Um, some of the features, like like this, is a registration feature that we use to just locate these two positions, and then when we stick it on this this side of the um, of the fixture, it locates on these dowels, and the, these dowels have to be very precise from center to center, and then the diameter has to be very precise, so it slips right over it. So we're gonna um, let's turn this back on. We're gonna go through some some drilling routines, and I'm in CAD right now, and this surface right here. Let's just go to this side, and we'll go into manufacture. And we'll take a look at, oh, there's no manufacturing on this side. Um, all right, well, we'll just start from scratch and um, we'll do a setup and we'll, um, we'll go ahead and we'll grab this workpiece right here. And we're just going to grab um, the model. You have to, you have to go, when, it, when you select setup, you have to grab the model or it grabs the whole thing. So, so see how it's grabbing the whole assembly. It thinks it's machining everything. But we have to switch to this model right here. And then it puts stock around all that. And we'll forget about all the machining on there, the, the, the surfaces and all that. And, um, and then we're going to go to, um, we're going to hit OK. So now we've created our first setup right here. And sometimes you can just rename this. Um, Let's see here if I can rename it, um, generate, where is it, uh, never mind, but, uh, oh, here we go, we can do it right here, and we'll just say G54, G54, so this go. This is just old school programming before um, computers came in, and G54 is the first operation, and then over here would be G55, this is the second operation, so what I'd like to do is I, we, when we drill a long hole, and let's just look look at these um, on the side view. They go all the way down through here, and we have to stop them down here where the where the material stops. So we're gonna have to make it go all the way through, and then we have to come back in. And when you have a long a long drill, it tends to wobble and it goes off in a direction. So you use a thing called a a center drill first. So I'm gonna center drill all these. And so I'm going to go to my drilling routine right here, and I'm going to go drill, and I'm going to go select a tool, and I'm going to select it from the cloud library, and the cloud library is set up for, um, for all these cutters here. And we want to, whoops, no, not the fusion library, I'm sorry, the cloud library right here, this one. And there's a center drill right here, and let's let's just take a look at it. We we click on this, and it's got this little chamfer right here, and then it's got a step, and it comes down like this. And this is kind of referred to as a pilot hole over here, and then this matches the angle of the drill point coming in. So, so this kind of gets the the drill lined up and going, and we only have to, you know, drill it up to the top of this surface. So we have to set the depth. So I'm going to select that. And um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to um, select the geometry. And so it's pretty cool. We can, we can select one hole here. And then you can say, select similar diameters. And it'll go around and it'll find all the other holes that are similar. Now, obviously, you can see it's going way down in there. And it really doesn't need to go down in that deep. So we're going we're gonna to turn this thing sideways. And we're going to look at this, and we want to change the the height of it. And you click on height right here, and the bottom height is how deep the hole goes. So I'm going to I'm going to go from, and it and it gives you a reference plane where we drill from. So I'm going to go from the top of the hole, and I'm going to I'm going to go in. Let's just say five millimeters, five. And it's going in in the um, whoops. Top of the hole. Let's go 10. Let's just see it go down into the part. No, nope, it's it's going the wrong direction. Let's go minus 10. Okay, so that's going in there, but we need to we need to get that other that drill point angle coming in. So I'm going to go 
minus 15 and now you can see that it's getting that that shape going in there like that and we can probably get it um, you know like 14 or something like that 14 and so now we've got those going in there and we've got them just on those four holes but we, we have to do all of them we might as well do them all at one time so I'm gonna go back to geometry and I'm gonna select this hole now and it's gonna pick all the ones that are similar and then I also have the you see this thread right here this is just a, a graphical image of a thread we, we still need to do the same thing there so we're gonna we're gonna grab that one and it's gonna grab all those so now we've we've center drilled all these and I'm gonna hit OK and and so now it runs around and we can turn this on and then we can right click and we can say simulate and we hit hit play down here and up oh, it's going too fast it will slow it way down use this slider bar to slow things down and hit play and we can speed it up a little bit and so it's just gonna walk around it finds the fastest path and um, away it goes so it does that center drill and that's that's needed to make a good straight drill okay so now we want to um, we want to go into those long deep holes that go all the way through so let's let's spin this around a little bit and look at these big holes so so all these down here one two three four five and then five five on the other end go all the way through so let's go find um, a drill that gets us close to these and so I'm gonna I'm gonna turn off that center drill over here there's a little eyeball here and I'm gonna I'm gonna grab this dimension right here and I'm gonna measure it and I'm gonna say what is the diameter it's 16 millimeters so all of these all five all ten of these are 16 millimeter diameter holes we don't want to drill right to the whole size because a drill kind of leaves things all haggard and we want to ream it after that so we're going to drill all the way through and then we're going to ream all the way through and it'll be a nice smooth hole the reamer puts a it, it's exactly the size of 16 and we really want it to be like a little slip fit so it's going to be slightly over so so i'm going to i'm going to get out of this measure mode here and i'm going to go over to um i'm going to go to drill and i'm and i click on that and then i'm going to pick on a tool and in our cloud tool library right here we're going to look for something that's just under 16 so this 15.75 millimeter um, drill is just under 16 millimeters so that leaves a little bit of stock on the hole so when we come back in with our our reamer which is 16.01 right there that'll work so I'm going to click on that and there's the drill and we uh, we select it let me just see here my mouse kind of disappears at times Where's my mouse oh there we go okay here's the mouse okay and so we want to make sure that we're always um, uh, we've got the right tool and then we select the the block right here and we want to select the ten holes so I'm gonna whoops actually you can select them independently or you can select this same diameter here and it goes all the way through them if you have like hundreds of holes sometimes that's a nice thing to do and then um, what we want to do is um, we want to go and we want to look at the height because if we look at this on the side view it defaults where it doesn't break through and we want it to break through so we're going to select that height command again one more time and we're going to say the bottom of the hole this time and we're going to go we're going to go more we're going to go minus 10 and see how the drill point comes through now here's the bottom of the stock so it needs to go deeper than that i mean when we machine all this it'll come back through and clean it up but we might as well just keep going and we're going to go like minus 25 millimeters and now we're coming down to where the stock is and um we could probably even go to 30 minus 30 and oops Thirty. then we hit OK 
And um, now this is uh, this is going to drill straight through. But and and we we want to we want to do a routine that's um, a little bit different because these are deep drill holes here. And um, where's my mouse? My mouse keeps flying away here. Okay, all right, here we go. Here's the mouse. Come on. Okay. So we want to right click and edit this edit this program we just wrote. See how it runs all the way down, it goes all the way through the tool. We're gonna to right click and we're gonna go edit. And for a lot of these deep drill holes, you wanna change the cycle routine. And a rapid in and a rapid out means that it just plunges all the way through and plunges out. And you'll break your drill if you do that. But I like to use this chip breaking partial retract. So, so it goes down a little bit and then it retracts. And then there's another one called a peck so deep drill, full retract, that's a cool one. That'll work for these deep holes, like water lines that we're going through on the side. We wanna do that. So let, let's just use a, a deep drill, full retract. So watch what happens when we click that. And it's gonna, it's gonna peck um, three millimeters down and then do a full retract. So we could peck down probably at eh, 10 millimeters. And it's just gonna make a little peck move. So, so watch what happens. All right, we're gonna hit okay. And now we're gonna simulate this guy. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna say simulate. And then we're gonna hit play. And see how it's pecking? And, and it pulls it pulls the stop, the chips way up. We wanna get the chips out of the hole. And that's a, that's a pretty good routine for drilling. And we go all the way around and we, we take care of all of them. But this, this will clean out the chips because they get bound up in there and they, they break the drill. Um, so we want to get them out and the, the coolant's helping to flush that out and there's coolant that goes through the drill and um, So that's that's that drill routine Okay, so so that's that so now we're going to exit that simulation and now we're going to we're going to create a new drill routine and We're going to we're going to go back over and we're going to grab drill right here and um, We're going to go and we're going to select a tool and we're gonna to go to our reamer and we're gonna go back to the cloud library and we're gonna come down to that 16.01 reamer. So that's a slip fit. So I'm gonna click on that. And that, that reamer is just gonna go straight down and straight out. And usually we, we turn the speeds way down on these things because they'll start chirping. And so we're gonna bring it down to like, I don't know, 2000. And um, we want to, uh, um, we want to go ahead and um, uh, just select the hole, and then we'll select similar, um, same diameter holes, and then let's look at the height again one more time, and we're gonna we're gonna go and turn it sideways, and we probably again want to go down below the hole, so we're gonna go minus um, minus twenty, whatever. So it goes all the way down and then it comes all the way out and we'll machine all this stuff off the bottom here. And then I'm going to, uh, I'm going to look at the, uh, the cycle here. And so it's, it's got, since it, since we picked a reamer, it knows that it's a reamer feed the way it, it reams these holes. So leave it on reamer and it knows the cycle going down in. And then we hit okay. And now we've got, um, this reamer going on right here. So let's let's just um, let's just let that cycle. So we can just go ahead and we can hit simulate and right click and then we hit play. Whoops, right here. And it goes all the way in and that reamer goes all the way down. And um, and so now we've got a reamed hole. So that's nice and smooth. But one of the things is that we always want to put a chamfer around this. And, and these holes, they, they don't like it unless there's a little, a little way to lead that in. If you leave it a sharp edge, it, it won't like that. So we're gonna go, and we're gonna go, and we're gonna go over to 2D, and we're gonna go chamfer. Where's the chamfer tool? Chamfer, 2D chamfer. And I'm gonna select a chamfer tool, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over here, and I'm gonna look for it in the cloud libraries, and I'm gonna come down, and here's a chamfer tool right there. And I'm going to select that, and then I'm going to come over, and I'm just going to pick these holes. Pick that one, that one, that one. You could probably do all of them, but we'll just do these four just for, for learning's sake. 
and we want to put this chamfer around there um, so so whatever lines up with this it's an easy in and out and I hit OK and then I can right click and I can say simulate Oops, simulate and I hit play and you can see it put the little green chamfer on there so now we've got that so that's pretty cool we've got all that now some of the things that we have to do is we have to put threads in these holes so so you learned how to drill ream our center drill ream and all that and um, we now have to put um, a hole and a, a, a drill in here and let's just measure this right here and if we measure that it says that it's a um, it's a 14 millimeter diameter and I bet it's a 16 millimeter thread almost positive it is um, and so we can check on that in the in the CAD system but it, it knows how to program this hole and so I'm gonna go and I'm gonna put a thread on these holes this one this one this one this one this one this one so I'm gonna go up here to um, drill whoops I'm sorry we're gonna go to 2d we're gonna go to thread grab thread and I'm kind of old school I used to use these things called taps but now they have these modern threading tools so so we're gonna start using these and um, I, I'm gonna pick on the cloud library and sometimes you don't see all the tools. If you hit clear filter here, it shows all the tools. Sometimes the filter changes it. But I'm going to go down and I'm going to find this threading tool. Where is it? Thread, thread mill right here. So let's click on this. So it has one thread in here. And all threads have the same shape. And it, and it helix all the way down in. And, it, and, it, and it's spinning and cutting. So let's just select that. And I'm gonna I'm gonna then um, select the geometry, and I'm gonna click that, 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 and that. And what we what we really want to think about is we don't want to send it too deep in there. We we don't need threads all the way down. And so again, we go to our our height our our pat our height excuse me, and we can set the depth from the top of the hole. So the top, top of the, of the model, top of the model, model top, and then we can just say negative. And a rule of thumb on threads is that one and a half times the thread diameter is the full strength of the thread going in there. So I usually just do two. So I'm going to make it go 20 millimeters deep. So I'm going to go minus 20. Whoops. minus 20 and it'll send it down that deep we could go a little bit deeper let's just go 25 because we don't want people having to cut their bolts off and um, and then hit OK and then we're gonna go back up here and watch this routine this is a pretty cool routine um, oops I lost my mouse again uh, all right um, all right, so now we want to um, simulate this. So we go to, where is simulate up here? Um, blah, 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 blah. Where is it? If I, I hold down, I'm, I've got a laptop that I'm working with. And I go to simulate. And I um, hit play. So you can see it kind of wobble around. That's pretty cool how it does that. So, so it's it's cutting and it's and it's walking around the tool, and doing this thing here. Let's just go a little bit faster. And it creates that thread. So the the cutter's spinning in a diameter, and it's creating that thread for you. So um, that's uh, center drilling, drilling, um, reaming, and tapping. Um, for you. So anyhow, uh, hopefully you learned a little bit of um, how to drill and ream and um, we'll pick this uh, the next section up again soon.